Here's something I'm not all the way clear on. Just because you go to the gym, just because you're in shape, does that actually make you an athlete? Like, what is the definition of an athlete? And in that regard, are golfers athletes? Golf is not that hard. Well, it doesn't have to be. That's why we cut through all the highbrow golf BS to give you what you really need to know to enjoy the golfing experience. I'm Doug Smith. And I'm Cheyenne Woods. And together we have over 50 years experience playing the game of golf at every level. Every week we'll break down a new topic in 10 minutes or less, answering some of the most popular questions in golf today. You're welcome. Personally, I 100% think that golf is an athletic sport and you need to have athletic skill to be able to play it. Obviously, there's people that- Hold on, hold on, hold on. (laughs) Athletic skill, look, I'm not trying to hate on what we do, right? I'm not saying that golfers aren't athletes or golfers are athletes, but I am saying that it's more coordination than it is an athletic, like, motion ability. So I guess we would have to define what is a sport- And what is an athlete? A sport was defined as an activity where the outcome is significant. Significant. Okay. Right. Where there's consequences. Right. So a consequence to it. Poker or gambling is considered a sport, right? It is a sport. Horse racing is a sport. It is a sport. Boxing is a sport. Boxing is a sport. Even in the Olympics, they consider uh, like darts and stuff. It is a a sport. sport. Ping pong. But then what is considered an athlete? Tiddlywinks. According to the dictionary. Oh, is this Webb? <laughs> Webster's? The Miriam Webster mm-hmm. said. Tell Webster I said what up. An athlete is a person who is trained or skilled in exercises, sports, or games requiring physical strength, agility, or stamina. Hmm. Now, in my opinion, golf hits all of those. <laughs> she went to Webster's Yo, dictionary. I came she got, ready. I got receipts. She, dang, she got <laughs> biblical on me with that one. She like. But I do see the argument because not to throw names out there, but just you see one. players like John Daly. And let's just smoke a cigarette and have a good time. <laughs> golf is is the only sport at least competitive sport, professional sport, where you can get by with having a cigarette or a beer or being somebody that looks like John Daly. Because it's an activity. <laughs> you know, It's I, a hobby. It, <laughs> I mean, I've, I've always wrestled with this personally, right? Because I train, I go to the gym, I work out, right? I do my thing. And for people to not sit here and say that I'm an athlete is, is, is super disrespectful. And I don't want y'all out there to think I'm I'm jumping back and forth on the topic. No, I do believe golfers are athletic. But I do see the argument why people also say the other or the latter. If you are waking up every day and you are grinding and you have that sweat equity, I deem you an athlete. I don't care if you play darts. That's like your thing. If you are a, a, a world-renowned dart Thro- what are they called? Dart throwers? I don't know what they're called. Anyway, if you throw darts and you go to the gym and you sweat it out with the Hussein Bolts and the Serena Williams and the and the Brooks Kepkas of the world, then I deem you an athlete. That's just that's just what it is. I but agree. you can't tell me that darts is a sport or uh, wait, can I say that? No. Yeah. Darting. Darting. I don't know. Throwing darts is not a sport. It's a, an activity and a hobby. But if you're highly skilled, per Cheyenne's definition, yeah. then you are an athlete. True. And in terms of golf and the sport of golf, I feel like maybe back in the day, there wasn't as much physical training that went into it. But like you said, the coordination, the eye-hand coordination, the ability to manage your body and manipulate the golf club, the golf ball, that's an athletic move. I've never heard eye-hand coordination. That's a new one. I've heard hand-eye, but eye-hand, that's completely different. See... Been, this new i'm teaching you something i just learned just you put, put me all the way on game pay, i got it so attention. when you got that eye hand coordination <laughs> you can be an athlete yes all well-rounded <laughs> eye hand hand eye it makes a difference so whether you're training in the gym the practice that you do on the driving range the practice that you do on the golf course definitely translates to athletic ability when you see some of these players hit these miraculous shots in the rough under the trees creating spin curving the ball hitting the ball 350 yards that's athletic right you can't tell me like kyle berkshire or troy mullins is not an athlete you know, some of the long best drive. long drivers yeah. of, the, of the golf ball in the world. You can, I mean, they're, they're athletic. That's what they do. They hit the ball far. That's super athletic. Now, when you look at golf back in, you know, I'm going to go way back, like the late 1800s into the 80s, you could definitely not be an athlete and play golf. There weren't many guys training and, and treating themselves like like freaking Zeus to play the game. You know, nowadays, you look at a at a Brooks Kepka or you look at a John Rahm or a Jason Day compared to a John Daly, 
those are different boys out there hitting the ball. I mean, even the girls that train are, I mean, I look at Lexi, she's a beast in the gym. You can't tell me Lexi's not an athlete. You mentioned Brooks Kepka, who just recently was in the ESPN body issue. He was the only golfer who was highlighted. The ESPN body issue, for those who don't know, mm. the athletes, yes, athletes, pose naked it, with their sporting equipment, in their sporting just bucket poses, just, mm. whatever the course whatever the case may be. So Brooks obviously has a spread in ESPN. Well, he got a spread. That's for (laughs) damn sure. That is for sure. Brooks is in that that damn thing, butt cheeked out. So you've seen it. You sent it to, you sent it in a group text. I did send it. I couldn't miss it. Brooks, we go back. Get, you need some sun on the cheeks, man. I'm just saying. (laughs) So yes, Brooks as an athlete is posing naked and he's highlighting how golfers use their bodies. You know, he's hitting out of the bunkers. He's hitting, uh, I think he had a driver. He was reading a putt. So you are seeing how the muscles are being used, I guess, while playing golf. You say while playing golf or while? while? Because you just gazed off thinking about Brooks and being naked. No, I'm not. I wish people could have saw her face just now. Now she's blushing. Oh my goodness. But... (laughs) Here's what pissed me off, right? If you're gonna be naked though, in on, on in a spread for for whomever, why they give him a golf glove, right? It was completely counterintuitive. And he was wearing a hat. He had a hat. <laughs> he had a hat and a golf glove, and just naked. They don't that don't match. Like I'm sorry, I'm not saying I want to see more nudity from Brooks Kepka, but That's I am it saying like. let's just match match up what's cracking. But you know, I love the body issue, and I think it's great how they highlight kind of the way the body does move and function and and appear in in, in a form. But it's just it's a lot. At the end of the thing, Cheyenne, about, you know, athleticism and the body issue from ESPN, is it is it birdies or is it BS? I personally, 100% birdies. I love it. Not because there's men naked, but because I think it's empowering. <laughs> I think it's empowering to see these athletes showcase the hard work they put into their bodies, training both male and female. Um, and it highlights... The difference between, again, Joe Schmo on the street who thinks they can play and the high performer, top elite athlete who does this day in and day out for money. Yeah. And before we wrap, Cheyenne, I got to do it. I got to ask. ESPN asked you to pose in the body issue. Birdies or BS? You know what? I'm going to have to hit the gym. (laughs) Get on my orange theory for a few more weeks. Um, No, but I would be honored if they did ask me. It is time to get technical and staying on the lines of being an athlete and being an athletic golfer. Today, we're going to answer a question about how you at home can gain distance off the tee. Now, Doug, everybody wants to gain a few extra yards. Let's get technical. What do we need to do? You know what? I'm going to get super technical and almost borderline geeky. So here's the thing a lot of amateurs need to understand. When you're swinging at a driver, you have things like your attack angle, which is the up or down that you're swinging at the ball and your path, right? Are you swinging over the top or are you swinging out to the right? So if you have an over the top path, which is going to help create a down attack angle, say you're negative one or two or three at impact, that's not going to help you hit it far. We want to see a positive attack angle. We want to see that driver being swung up before it hits the ball. So we want to see it in the two or three degree range, right? So once we get the attack angle correct, then we can really start trying to dial in spin, dial in launch angle to really launch the ball effectively. That's the biggest thing that I notice in the difference when I am watching the long drive. Obviously that is an extreme, but when you're watching the long drive hitters, they are swinging very up on the ball. And that is definitely going to help. T is so high. Yes. T is so high, the driver is just launching that ball straight up into the air. A drill that can specifically help with this is very easy. It's something you already have at home. Get out a towel, go to the range, roll that thing up. What you're going to do is put that towel one foot approximately in front of the ball that you have teed up. Hit the ball, do not hit the towel. Bring the towel back inch by inch, still working on that upward swing motion without hitting the towel. That's going to give your body the feel of increasing your launch angle and also increasing your distance. Bam. And Cheyenne, that's it. That's all we got for them this week. A few extra yards. A few extra yards. You know, some... Golfers are athletes. Uh, it's still debatable, still out. <laughs> But that's it for this week's episode. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Birdies Not BS. Or BirdiesNotBS.com. We'll be back next week. Bye.